Hey, Shauna. Hi, Chip. I have an order for a wheelchair. Well, I hope they have a reservation, because we're out. Well, according to this voucher, they do have a reservation. Oh, okay. What's the name? Uh, last name is Reynolds. Reynolds, Reynolds. Not Karen Reynolds. Yeah, that's what it says here. Why? What's the problem? Well, let's just hope it's not the same Karen Reynolds we had to throw off the plane before. It can't be. It's just some little old lady. What's she going to do? Well, all I know is I'm not going to be here to find out. Wheelchair's over there. Jeez, what's the deal with her? There better not be any kids on this flight to Orlando. No, honey, that's why we booked it this time of year. But don't kids have that spring break apart or something? No, honey, they're back in school now. Good, because I need some rest and relaxation. And believe me, so do I. I can't believe we're going to Disney World. Yeah, it's so nice of you to take us. Well, it is the best time of year to go. Oh, why is this the best time? Because spring break is over. There won't be any crowds. Think about it, no lines for the rides. Yeah, we could do two theme parks a day. Slow down, girls. We'll do all the theme parks, but just one a day. Okay, let's see. One park a day times 12 parks is 24 days. 24 days? But we only have two weeks off of school. Cool your jets, girls. Your parents only booked this trip to last one week. Okay, but if we get there at 7 in the morning, stay until 11 at night, skip lunch, then we can ride each ride three times. Whoa, 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 girls. Let's take it slow, okay? Here we are, honey, the Orlando flight. What are you kids, lost or something? No, and I'm not a kid. Can't you tell, honey? She's that mom. You kids better not be on our flight. <laughs> Did you hear that? They think you're our mom. <laughs> well, you better not be on our flight either. What's with her? I don't know, honey. You try to be nice to people. Look how they act. Why do we have to get here two hours early? Honey, you know how I am. I'm nervous to fly. Getting here early doesn't make it any safer. It just makes you more nervous. But if I'm the first one on the plane, I could be the first one off when something goes wrong. Millions of people fly every day. Nothing is going to go wrong. If people were meant to fly, they'd have wings. That's why the Wright brothers put wings on planes. The Wright brothers were wrong. We shouldn't be flying. That's why we got here early. Well, here we are. Finally, some peace and quiet. I can't believe their mother took them out of school like that. I know she looks so young, I thought she was their sister. Well, she's obviously had plastic surgery. Can't you tell by the scars on her forehead? I don't know. I gotta find out who her doctor is. I know, honey. A little nip and tuck here and there. You would look the same age. Nina, is that our plane? Yeah, I think so. I hope it's not shaky. It's my first time flying. It'll be fine. Let's sit down, girls. I can't believe this. Don't point the finger at me. I'm not going to as long as you get rid of them. Then how am I supposed to get rid of them? You book this flight, you figure it out. Oh look, there are kids on this flight. I should think so, we're going to Orlando. Well, I hope they're not gonna ride roller coasters or anything like that. That's way too scary for them. Well, maybe at first, but they'll get over their fears. Well, maybe so because they're kids but it's dangerous, just like flying. Honey, that's why we're going. So you can get over your claustrophobia and fear of heights. Well, I hope you got my insurance paid up. Relax, this is supposed to be fun. Excuse me, miss. 
You're gonna have to do something about your daughters. Daughters? Daughters. Those two. You know what? I am gonna report you that you took your children out of school. How's that? Oh, really? Do I look like their mother? Oh my gosh! I can't believe it. Honey, you're not gonna believe this. What is it? That woman! Just look at them! They're obviously not hers! Well, you better go tell somebody! What? I don't want to get involved! You have to! That way they won't be on our flight. Okay, dear. Whatever you say. <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, sir. How may I help you? Oh, we have an urgent situation. Oh my, urgent? What's wrong? There's a girl, I mean, I mean a woman, who's traveling with two children that are not her own. Oh my goodness, I better check this out. Where are they? Well, well, you better. She's right over there. Thank you. Boy, those kids are lucky you're here. Excuse me, miss. Can I talk to you for a moment? Uh, yes. Can I help you? I'm gonna need you to come with me. Okay. I've been informed that you're flying with these children without their parents' permission? What gave you that idea? I got this information from these fellow passengers. The only information they have is directions to Leisure World. I'm their sitter. Well, I wasn't aware of that. All you have to do is look in the reservation system. All the paperwork is there. Well, let me look. What are the names? The last names are Adams and Thompson. Well, give me a moment and I'll go check. Thompson and Adams. Uh, yes, they're flying with an adult right here. Are you Nina Matthews? Yes, that's me. Well, in that case, everything's in order. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> so am I. What was that about? Oh, well, they were just concerned that you weren't having enough fun with your toys. Well, we were just trying to be quiet. <laughs> no, they said it's a noisy airport. Have fun. Don't worry about it. Cool. What should we play? Charades. Hide and see, Marco Polo. We should do rock, paper, scissors to figure it out. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Let's do Marco Polo. All right, I'll go first. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Marco Polo. Oh, isn't that cute? Those little girls are playing games. Yeah, but those old people don't seem so entertained. Marco. I'm not taking this anymore. Uh-oh. Nina, are we in trouble? No, don't worry about it. It's fine. That's it. I'm getting rid of these kids once and for all. I'll push you. No, it's okay. I got it. Excuse me. I need some help over here. Yes, ma'am. How can I help you? Do you need a wheelchair assistant or something else? I'm already stuck with one of those. It's those children, they're making a huge disturbance. Uh, well, ma'am, they seem fine to me. No, all the passengers are disturbed by them. Passengers? I haven't had any other complaints about them. They've been complaining to me. Okay, ma'am, if I get any other complaints, I'll see what I can do. You better, because I have special needs. Yes, I can see that, ma'am. <laughs> Karen doesn't want kids to fly on the plane with her. Will she be able to get them thrown off? Hi, are you flying to Orlando? Why, yes, we are. My husband and I are flying buddies with you. Flying buddies? Is that a good thing? I'd like to ask you a small favor. Favor? Sure, what is it? 
can you please go over to the gate agent and complain about those children? They're causing a big disturbance. I didn't notice anything. Why? What are they doing? I'm causing a hazardous situation for passengers like you and I. Hazardous? We have to get out of here. Hold on. Is there something we can do? And that's why you need to go over to the gate agent and complain. You better go complain, honey. Okay, okay, I'll go take care of it. <sighs> I can be so charming. Excuse me, miss. Sorry to bother you. Yes, sir. How can I help you? I'm here to complain about those children over there. Oh, really? What are they doing? They're, uh, uh, they're making a disturbance. Oh, really? In what way? They're bothering that lady over there. You know, the one in the wheelchair. That's it? Are they bothering anybody else? Yes, uh, I think they're bothering her husband, too. Well, thank you, sir, for your concerns. You can have a seat. We'll be boarding shortly. Okay, at least I got that out of the way. I can't take this anymore. What do you want me to do? They're not my kids. Let's go get something to eat. All right, all right. Children should be seen and not heard. Totally Airlines, flight 442 with nonstop service to Orlando, will begin pre-boarding approved passengers at gate 35. What are you doing here? Uh, we're waiting to board our flight? We're going to Orlando. This is pre-boarding for wheelchairs. Yeah, and for families with small children. Didn't you know that? Are they family? No! You're not their mother! Sorry, Grandma. We're getting on the plane first. Oh, good one. Yeah, we'll see about that. What are you waiting for? Take me over there. I need to complain. Yes, dear. They must have gotten rid of those kids. Unless they're on the plane already. No, oh, they better not be. Where's my seat? Oh, honey, you have a special handicap seat. Well, I better. And honey, I'll be sitting right behind you. Here you go, honey. Seat one C. What? I can't sit next to those kids! It's okay, honey. I'm sitting right behind you. I can't do that. Don't they know I have special needs? Honey, let's just sit down and we'll get some help. Fine, but these kids shouldn't be allowed on this plane. What's with these seats? There's no room. That's because we were in an exit row last time. There's no exit? Of course there's an exit. It's right up there. Well, that's where we have to sit then. We can't sit anywhere we want. I picked these seats because they're the smoothest ride. Why, why would they be any smoother here? Because we're right over the wing. I learned that because of my business travel. Careful, honey. Watch your foot. Excuse me, but you're on the aisle. Yeah, I know. That's my seat. Archie, kid. Yes, how can I help you? Yes, I need you to kick these kids off the plane. Now, ma'am, why should we do that? Because their parents abandoned them and they're disturbing all the passengers. Ma'am, we've been through this. Their sitter is sitting right behind you. She's not their sitter. She's their age. Fine, I'll look into it for you. Excuse me, miss, I'm so sorry to bother you, but can I please see your driver's license or passport or something? You want to see my ID? We just need to establish that you're over 18 because you're accompanying these children. I can't believe this. Ma'am, 
I did what you asked. She's plenty old enough. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? If you can't throw them off, can you at least get someone to switch seats with them? No, ma'am, I can't do that. You're gonna have to find two volunteers. Okay, fine, I'll take care of it. I need you to switch seats with these girls. I can't. I'm claustrophobic. That's why I'm sitting on the aisle. Mark, you need to find somebody else. Karen, what do you expect me to do? Well, go ask that Frady Cat woman. She seems gullible enough. Okay, fine. I'll look into it. Excuse me, but would you mind switching seats with a couple kids? I'm not switching seats. I'm sorry, my wife's afraid to fly. Wonderful. Excuse me. So are they moving? No, they don't want to. Just manipulate her. Tell her something scary's gonna happen. Yes, dear. Whatever you want. I am sorry, but if you don't move, something bad is going to happen. What? What? See, I told you, let's go. Honey, he's just pulling your strings. Well, how do you know that? Look who he's flying with. He's just manipulating us to get our seats. You know what? You're right. Tell your wife she's not getting our seats. Never mind. Excuse me, ma'am, but we have a seating problem. <laughs> Finally, you're making a change. Well, I'm glad you're so agreeable because we have to remove a couple people from this flight. Of course I'm agreeable. Well, good, because you and your husband have to leave this flight immediately. What? <laughs> Even though Karen tried to get rid of the kids, it turns out she's the one being thrown off the plane.